Hi everybody, Sean James here from My Self Reliance. Welcome to the cabin. So I get a lot of questions on My Self Reliance channel about uh, security and safety and whether I'm concerned about uh, wolves and bears and stuff like that. And the answer to that is no, I'm not afraid of those animals. To me, they're just part of the uh, landscape here, part of the environment and I've never had issues with any kind of predator here, so I'm not concerned about it. However, now that Callie is here at the cabin with me, um, she might get into a little bit of trouble. So I tend to actually have a shotgun on hand in case I need to uh, deal with some situation that uh, she's got herself into, or that might be of some concern for some reason. So one of the ways I'm dealing with that is I have this survival shotgun from Seraphin Armory that uh, folds down and it only has a 13 inch barrel, which is the um, minimum legal length of a barrel in Canada. Uh, so that thing can fold down and fit into a backpack. So very handy to take on a long distance trip where I don't want to carry a full firearm for hunting, but if I need it for some kind of safety situation or more likely to harvest game um, for surviving or for just eating on a, on a backcountry trip where I want the extra uh, calories from something like uh, grouse or or rabbit or something like that it's really handy or waterfowl so it's really handy to be able to carry that in a backpack where I just normally would not want to carry a full-size shotgun so here in Canada we have to have a firearms acquisition certificate in order to purchase and to own firearms and that's non-restricted we also have a restricted category so if you want uh, restricted firearms such as handguns that's a separate license yet that you have to get and there's a lot more restrictions on uh, your uh, uh, carrying and storage and where you're allowed to use them and so on. But for me and for all hunters, we need just a standard uh, acquisition certificate, which allows us to possess the firearms as well as buy ammunition. So some of the restrictions are that we have to keep our firearms stored in a safe place, locked up with a trigger guard on them at all times. So I have a combination trigger guard on most of my uh, firearms so that I don't have to search for a key. I know the codes to those, I could take them off. Um, the other thing is that when we're transporting, they have to be in a full case, which means six side case. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So basically fully, fully enclosed so that you cannot easily reach in and pull that out. Now that locked um, trigger guard on there and then place into a backpack fits the requirements. So this firearm can go into my backpack I can take it on any kind of trip with me. I can take that with me and I can use it both as self-defense against predators if I was concerned about that or for harvesting small game. And in a pinch, I could harvest large game if I was in a survival situation. So 13 inch barrel, which is the an overall length of 26 inches, which is the minimum barrel length to make it legal, legally classified as a non-restricted firearm. So as a hunter, I can carry this. So very, very small, as you can see, very convenient. Would never carry this in a city or in an urban environment, but it's perfect to be carrying out in the wilderness like I am. Keep in mind that this cabin is located in the Canadian wilderness, that I'm surrounded by forests, uninterrupted and undeveloped, that I can hunt in and also travel through and I'll um, have contact with animals that have never seen people before, like bears and, and wolves and you know rumors of cougars and stuff like that. So uh, there is a chance that I would need to defend Cali at the very least against some kind of wildlife. So this shotgun is very easy to carry, something I can carry with me at all times. So I'll show you how this works. So trigger guard off, put the shell in there, safety. That's it. Just pull that release trigger, opens up the single barrel. Now this shell here, I've got a number five, really light load, and it's a two and three quarter inch so that easily fits in there. Close it up, make sure the safety's on. When I want to shoot, I take that safety off and just point and shoot. Now being a light gun, it's going to have a lot of kick because there's no weight to receive the impact of that recoil. Um, so you want to make sure you got it nestled tight, you hold it tight, get down on that and make sure that uh, you got a grip on it so it doesn't come back and hit you in the cheek. Good, steady. Okay. 
Now the girl. Now the girl. 